Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at a hidden Windows 11 feature that you may find quite useful. What we're going to be doing here is going into the registry and we're going to be creating a copy to folder and move to folder inside our context menu. So let's open up the registry editor by typing regedit and then navigate to this location you see on the screen here, H key underscore classes underscore root. And then what you need to do is find all file system objects into that list. So let me just go ahead and quickly navigate to that location and find it. And once we've done that, we can then go over to the shell EX. So let's find the first one first. It's right here. And from here, what we need to do is open this up. And what we're going to do is go to shell EX right there. So click on this one here. And now we need to click on the context menu handlers open that up as well and once we've opened this one up what we can do is create a new key so we need to right click on the context menu handlers and create a new key so let's go ahead and do that so right click new key and now we need to add in a name for that key and this is the one we need for move to folder basically it's a braces and that big long uh, code there which is letters and numbers I will leave those in the video description and then paste those in there now we need to right click on the context menu handlers one more time and go key and that will add a new key and now we can add in the next one which is copy to folder and I'll also leave that in the video description as well you just need to paste that in and once you've done this you should have two new keys added now what we can do now is close off the uh, registry editor. So what we're going to do is just quickly close these back off. So it was back the way it was before. Always tidy up after you. Otherwise you'll end up with tons of areas in the registry that are all open. And now that's all done. And what we're going to do next is we're going to open up our folder. Now on our folder, we've got some files here. Now instead of cutting and pasting and copying and pasting here, you can right click on these. And you can see with the new context menu, it's not that great. But now we've got copy to folder and move to folder right here. And from here, we can now click on whatever we want to do, say move. And we'll move this to a new location. So rather than copying and pasting or doing multiple different clicks, you can just basically just click on the move and it will move it. This is great if you want to move a lot of content and you can quickly select it and move it. So let's do a copy now. So we're going to copy to folder. We're going to copy this large ISO file to a new location. And uh, what we're going to do is select the new location and copy over there or move. You can use either one of them and you can see we just copied that file over to a new location. And here are the actual files right here. So if you want to change the context menu on Windows 11 back to the Windows 10 context menu, which I find a lot better than Windows 11 because it does have a double click here, then I'll show you a quick way of doing that. You can use these codes here. I'll try and leave these in the video description if I can paste them in there. I will do. It's sometimes the brackets, it doesn't allow you to paste these in, but we'll try. And if not, they'll be on my website. So copy the restore old context menu right click on the start button and go to terminal and open up as an admin and now we can paste this in right here push enter and that successfully uh, happened so now we can close it off now we need to quickly restart the uh, explorer so open up the task manager here and come down to windows explorer and from here we're just going to quickly right click and click restart that's now done and now we've done that when we right click on the menu you should just have the old style context menu. So let me just move one more thing here and you'll see how easy it is now. When we right click once, it's right here. We don't have to do a double click. So it's saving you an extra click each time you use this method. And the menu has now been changed to the old style context menu, which I prefer myself. And you can use the same method, copy uh, to folder or move to folder, depending on what you want to do here. Very simple and easy to do. So that is how you can add the copy to folder and move to folder inside your context menu on Windows 11. Does this work on Windows 10? Yes, it does. 
You can use this on Windows 10 as well if you have Windows 10. And that's pretty much it. So anyway, I hope this video helps you out. I'll leave all the information in the video description. If I can't post it in there, I will leave a link to it to my website where you can copy all the information from there as well because sometimes YouTube doesn't allow you to paste uh, brackets inside the actual description. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat or in the next video. Thanks again. Bye for now.